All right, here we are, guys, back for hole number four of the Voyager Tournament Expert Division. And I'm going to, for the most part, keep my usual bag here, which is going to be Thor Hammer. And hopefully a Thorn-ish club. Thorn, Claw, whatever. Um, I've been keeping Thorn on just as a tournament club. It, it does have that little bit of extra distance, which can come into play on holes like this. So that's one of the reasons that you might see me been using that recently. In terms of ring adjustment, um, I'm going to use a plus 10 elevation for this hole, uh, especially since I'm going to be going into full power. Now, do keep in mind that I'm going to barely creep over here and kind of land right on the very front of this fairway. Using a royal ball will make this a little bit easier. And you can see that it's estimating right around five rings. So I'm kind of looking at that fifth ring as kind of my landing zone. But also keep in mind that it's probably going to just barely dip into this fairway. So you do might want to go with a royal ball just for the land. Like we, we didn't get a good view though, but you can probably be sure that it was barely over, you know, by only a couple yards. So there is going to be a chance that you can clip that rough um, with a full overpower, unless, of course, you have an Apoc 5. So that's going to be the alternative. Another thing you could do is you could technically go with Extra Mile 8, but I'd kind of stick away from that if I was you, just from an accuracy standpoint. Now what I am going to do, especially straight into this headwind, is I'm going to play 10% extra ring adjustment for this thorn shot. It's going to be kind of an overcorrection method where I'll just kind of point towards the hole and use plus 10%. And then I'll just try to find my distance based on my slider. <clears throat> First thing that you might want to do is you might want to get this wind input ready. But you'll see that we're going to have a very straight wind. And what I'm going to try to do, and there's Max right there close to the hole. Here's Min way down here. We're going to be setting right very close to mid-club. I'm going to just raise it just a little bit. I'm going to try to land this on the green, if at all possible. or very, very close to it. So kind of like this. And you can see that I just kind of put that guide right on the hole. And 4.1 rings here. So just be very careful with your needle. Uh, 4.1 rings here. Perfect ball. <clears throat> oh, it's just coming up short. So into this headwind, you might want to go maybe plus 15%. Um, just something to be thinking about. You know, that wind. Uh, another thing that I could have done is I could have just took off a little bit of backspin. And it would have came in right towards the hole anyway. Um, but you could see that the ball also landed a little bit short of my target as well. So do keep that in mind, you know, maybe two and a half backspin, but also at the same time, you know, uh, uh, probably tomorrow I'll go with a plus 15% just to get, the, you know, 4.3 would have probably done it. It would have been in. So that little marginal difference is all that I needed. Um, had I wanted to, you know, get that hole out and get that extra stroke for my round. <clears throat> So good luck with this hole, guys. Um, I, I hope you guys are able to get this one to drop. It's going to be a very good opportunity for you guys, especially with that nice straightened up arrow. It's really going to make things easier for you guys to make that one. So I do hope that you guys are able to get that one, but be on the lookout for our visions either way. You know, I'll give you guys multiple looks at that shot and different perspectives, different uh percentages we might need to use with that ring slider. So good luck there and catch you guys on the next one.